multi-mode digital voice repeaters. Not sure what they are. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to the Ham Radio Junkie with me, Keith. Over the past few years, there's been a relative explosion in the amount of digital mode radios that you can purchase. And as they've become more popular, we've seen more repeaters spring up dedicated to these digital modes. These have tended to be single mode systems, such as operating on ICOM's D-Star, Yaesu System Fusion, DMR or P25. But recently, there's been a new trend, and that trend is for multi-mode digital voice repeaters. These are repeaters that offer the users far greater functionality, and I'll explain why. I'm the licensed repeater keeper for GB7PP. It initially started out as a UHF D-Star repeater covering central Suffolk here in the UK. Unfortunately, it had limited coverage and also a limited number of users, as not many people had D-Star radios. So two years ago, I took the conscious decision to change from a single mode to a multi-mode repeater and set about building one. So what is a multi-mode digital repeater? Well, quite simply, it's a VHF or UHF ham radio based repeater system that allows users to select which mode they wish to operate on, be it D-Star, DMR, C4FM or System Fusion, P25, NXDN and even POGSAG paging. So how do they work? If you look at the diagram below, you'll see that the repeater constantly listens for all the modes that it's programmed in to listen to. In this case, D-Star, DMR, C4FM and P25. The repeater is also connected via the internet to other internet linked repeaters and people in their houses using hotspots or in their car with hotspots. You'll see that one user is transmitting using a radio and it's going into the repeater and being received by another user who's also listening to the repeater. But also, due to its connectivity to the internet, it is broadcast on some networks to other repeaters and people using hotspots. Hotspot users can therefore access repeaters around the world from their home or in their vehicle using their hotspot connected to the internet, even if they're out of range of a repeater. Repeaters that operate using DMR advantage that they have two time slots, time slot 1 and time slot 2. Users are therefore able to transmit on either time slot simultaneously as somebody else transmitting on the same frequency but on a different time slot. This diagram gives a visual representation of what that may look like in reality, with users listening to time slot 1 and transmitting on time slot 2 both in the same repeater on the same frequency. Now I make no apology for not trying to explain in this video how this dual time slot system actually works or the wizardry that goes behind making it work. I'm going to leave that for a future video. So instead, let's have a look at the dashboard of the repeater that I operate. The repeater system here, as you can see, has been accessed by a number of users. It also shows that there are two users accessing two different time slots, time slot one and time slot two, at exactly the same time. One is accessing time slot one with talk group one, and somebody else, time slot two, with talk group 840. You'll also see that there's a D-star link from this repeater to GB7KH, another repeater. And at the bottom you'll see that I accessed three modes which includes DMR, D-Star and C4FM System Fusion. So what do you need to know about working through a multi-mode digital voice repeater? Well the first thing is, whichever mode is current on that repeater, in other words is engaged, 
the other modes will be prevented from transmitting or receiving. In this example, two users are working the repeater locally using DSTAR. Because it's connected to the internet, users can also listen or work back via their own hotspot or another internet linked radio. But you'll also notice there are three users with handhelds on C4FM, DMR and P25. But due to the repeater being active on DSTAR, these will have to wait due to the repeater being engaged. After a period of inactivity, the repeater will continue to scan until it hears another user transmitting on one of the modes. Some repeaters also employ a timeout or a lockout system that prevents users from using the repeater too long. In the following clip we can demonstrate how the signal from one system will block the other two. Here we have three radios, the one on the left on C4FM system fusion, the one in the middle on DMR and the one on the right using DSTAR. When someone transmits on DMR you'll see the screen light up and you'll also notice on both the left and the right hand radio the signal has gone to full deflection as both the left radio and the right radio are unable to receive DMR no audio is received. Now some tips for using digital repeaters. The first thing to look at is if you're in the UK you may wish to check to see if a DMR repeater is on either the Phoenix or Brandmeister network. This will affect how you connect to talk groups within the repeater system. It's important to check your signal meter or your receive LED to check to see if a signal is being received that's not on the mode that you wish to operate on. For instance, if you're using a D-Star handheld and it's showing a full signal strength, it may be that the repeater is already engaged with someone using C4FM, DMR or P25. It's important to leave a gap between overs to allow for latency and signal delay due to the internet connecting to distant users. Also remember, because of this, some of your signals can be heard on reflectors, talk groups and rooms that are all over the world. And if you wish to talk to someone local, try and avoid connecting to a talk group, a reflector or a room that transmits wider than you really need to. So that's it. That's how you operate through multi-mode digital voice repeaters. I hope you found this informative and entertaining. If you have, give us a thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. If you hit the bell and subscribe, you'll be notified when I deliver new content. So, my name's Keith, my call sign is G0FEA, and I'm the Ham Radio Junkie. I'll catch you next time.